Hey there guys, today we're going to be building ourselves the bridge four pole. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. To ensure that your bridge is sitting straight, you can use something like one of these pieces of metal which is going to be for the bridge footing itself. Line that up on the ground with all of your ties and that will make sure that they're all sitting straight. So you can drill through this first side wall and then use that as a mark to where you're going to put those next holes in the tyre underneath. We've gone for metal for this one because we're in India and monsoons happen. The safest for us to use metal, it'll last a lot longer in this situation. This is an altered version of the bridge connection that we're doing here. We wanted to connect this bridge from the cubby house to a rocket wiggler. We've got these poles going off the rocket wiggler straight onto the bridge. We're just doing an angle bend on that. Then we're going to have a support in the middle to hold it all together again. Always with these pieces, make them work together with things. So for this one, it's a nice and simple join because it's metal onto metal. Just a really strong weld on that one, on both underside and top side. Now it's time to start priming these tyres. Just get a good layer on those ones and it'll make it much easier to paint later on. So now we're going to be bolting these side walls which we've already cut out together. Using really wide washers on these ones to make sure that it's going to be really strong. And we're also, as you can see here, bolting them really close to the centre of that uh, tyre rim. Because that's where you get a lot of the strength. Now we've got our poles uh, all ready, they're cut up, gone about three metres of the length of this uh, bridge here. So we've welded those ones together at intervals, you don't need to go the whole way down, but just making sure you've got a strong connection, all of these are going to be in place nice and tight. You can see here, once you've done your welding, you're going to have bits of slag, they call it, and this is just the remainders of the weld. What you want to do is just take a hammer. There you can see all this stuff just comes off. That'll fall off naturally anyway, so it's best if you take it off first, and then once you've got your primer on there, that'll be nice and strong and it won't come off over time. We've welded some uh, bolts onto the underside here and side of this cubby house that we're building, and that's just to act as supports. Those tires are gonna be sitting over the top of there and we're gonna put some nuts and big washers on those ones to hold it all in place. step-by-step -step instructions you can grab them from the uh, playground ideas website really really simple go have a look at them and that's how you build yourself a bridge for pole so this design as well as all of our designs are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook which is available from the website it's just down there hey what do you think of the video please let us know down below in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch so check them out here.